In this video, I'll be doing a taco tour here in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Right now we are on the Yucatan Peninsula. Playa del Carmen is about one hour south of Cancun. Everywhere around Mexico, folks love tacos. But depending on the region, the tortilla itself can change and everything that goes inside it. When I was in Mexico City, I had tacos filled with everything from balls to face parts. Here in this region, they do tacos a little bit differently. So instead of a little bit of cheese, they might put a dump truck of cheese. Instead of very spicy salsa, it might be mild. We're gonna try some local spots, but we're gonna try the spots that tourists love to go to as well. Let's go. We've come to our first location here. This is El Fogón. This right here is the El Pastor. Layered pieces of delicious pork on top of each other. It's juicy. On top, there's pineapple. Then right here, we have the beef sirloin. Also looking juicy. Succulent is dripping with goodness. Right here, we have Carlo. Another piece of meat. <laughs> Carlo here is the meat master, rather. And he is going to cook up some tacos for us right now. First of all, the gringas. There are a variety of taco that consists of flour tortillas filled with cheese, El Pastor meat, and pineapple. It's a succulent, delicious combination. Then, the sirloin trampo. Look at this gorgeous beauty right here. This is the sirloin. Sirloin. Are you sure, loin? Yes. Sure. I think it's sure. They said sirloin. How do you say sirloin? Sirloin. Ah, Chase, sirloin tacos, por favor. He's going with the corn tortilla. Gotta throw him on the flat top. Check out that meat. I love the way he holds the tortilla as he slices the rest off of there. Just a huge mound of sirloin on top. Beautiful, my friend. As usual, in many parts of Mexico, we get the onion, we get the cilantro all piled on top. Carlo, mucho gracias. One vital mistake. You know, when you do a food show, you rarely get to eat fresh, hot food, especially when you're just filming it with your wife on a phone. I like how thin he gets it sliced. It's like falling apart as I pick it up. It's like beautifully kind of charred on the outside a bit. All right, I'm gonna try just that meat. Delicioso. Magnificante. I'm gonna hit it with some salsa verde. Do you like my perfect pronunciation? What is better? Someone who overdoes the pronunciation, who says, hey, I'll have one burrito with a pico de gallo? Or someone like me who says, hey, we've got salsa verde over here. I'm not sure what's worse. Let me know in the comments down below if the salsa is gonna be super spicy or not spicy at all. Let's try it out. It's spicy, it's fresh. I believe it's loaded also with cilantro. The meat, delicious, juicy. If I had to choose between a flour tortilla or a corn tortilla, normally I would go with flour. But this tortilla is so thin and so delicate, it almost feels a little bit floury, even though it is a corn tortilla. And it only costs about a buck and a half each. Not bad, so that's the sirloin. Uh, frescos. I ordered three gringas and they are huge, which is basically a quesadilla. Most notably, he is gonna start off here with a flour tortilla. He slaps it on the flat top, gets it nice and hot. Here we have some queso Oaxaca. All right, after it melts just a little bit, he's gonna slice off some of the meat right onto the tortilla. Cilantro and onion. And then this is his finishing move, the pineapple. <laughs> he catches it in his hand and that is gorgeous. But it needs a hat. Is it a quesadilla? Is it a taco? Nobody knows. The debate rages on now and for centuries past. Is it delicious? Let's find out. Let's take a look inside. You see those succulent, delicious, thin layers of pork dyed orange from the sauce. Onion, cilantro, queso Oaxaca, and then pineapple to make it a little bit sweet. It's the whitest quesadilla I've ever seen. But also it's not a quesadilla, it's a taco. I don't understand how to eat it. There's no way this is the right way, but uh, okay. Tough battle between the cow and the pig, both good in different ways. The pineapple is a game changer. If you didn't know, to say pineapple in Spanish, you say piña, kind of like a piña colada. Mm, super delicious. It's just a great combination of flavors. It's outstanding. The greenness costs a little bit more than double the sirloin, but I could guess why. Probably pork is less expensive, but this is a lot of volume of food. There's much more meat in here than there was in the sirloin. So that is both tacos. We've got the nopales here. Let's try some of that too. Cactus for dessert. A little bit like green beans that have been boiled for two hours straight. I'm very good. We have more tacos to see. Let's keep moving. Boom. We have come to our next destination. This is complete street food style. They have beef, they have pork, they have chicken, they have sausage, the chorizo. And I see a few that I don't understand, but they have tripa. Tripa is a cow stomach. So I'm gonna be trying that. Boom, we're in the kitchen with Aurelio. Right here, we're making two tripo tacos. How about that pronunciation? That is plenty of meat for two tacos. That's a wild amount of meat, and it's popping like crazy. Next, corn tortillas going on the flat top. You gotta be careful in this kitchen because there is a lot of meat popping. You can lose an eye or even worse, maybe a nipple. Oh, he puts a double tortilla on there, extra fortified. Up here, we have the onion, the cilantro. One down, one to go. 
Oh, right here is the sauce station. You have salsa roja, verde. This is a guacamole sauce. Oh, I'm gonna try this. It's very liquidy. It's very soupy. Let's get that on top of there. Chipo can be questionable. You never know. But here, they put so many seasonings on it. It's been pre-cooked and then cooked again to get extra crispy. So is it gonna be insanely gamey and brutal? And I'm gonna hit it now with some lime because this thing is gonna have a lot of fat and oil. Try it out. Oh yeah, delicious, no gaminess, no crazy kind of funk. I'm blown away. The most notable thing about this taco is the fattiness. It's just so rich, it's juicy, it's moist, it's really wonderful. The only tough part is the handleability is difficult. Now, if you were just eating it quickly, trying to down it and not do a monologue the whole time like me, maybe easier, but I mean, look how much of my taco is not in the taco. The tortilla is good, it's nice and thin. It's interesting they double it up, but with this amount of meat, I think you gotta double it up. Otherwise, it's just gonna break through. Let's see what else they got. Boom, I found my second choice of meat right here. This is fresh puerco. This is being made on the flat top right now, so it's still hot, it's still steaming, and they're cutting it up into little bitty pieces, so like most other meats that you'll find inside of a taco. Is it an organ? Is it a stomach? Is it a ball? No. Can I just eat a normal taco, guys? Is that gonna be okay? Not okay? I'm doing it anyways. Dos puerco, por favor. The first move, put the pork on the flat top, and a big amount of it, too. Hit it with a little bit of oil. We're gonna get four tortillas. Oh, even hit that with some oil, too. Just like that, the tortilla is finished and the pork is going inside. A Little bit of cilantro, some onion. Okay, that is finished. Thank you, sir. I'm going back to our sauce station right here. I'm gonna mix it up. Enough of the verde. I'm gonna go guacamole on top. This taco looks fantastic already, how it is, but it's gonna be a bit dry without anything on there. This looks sweet to me. It almost looks like tamarind sauce. So I asked about what kind of pork it seems like it's a combination of leg meat and it's just some, oh my God, I spilled everything. Is shoulder blade meat. All I know is he pointed to this right here. It's in this region of the pig. Imagine a pig, are you imagining one? Not me, stop imagining me. Not a pig's body with my head on it. An actual pig, there, there, a pig. Now the back shoulder part, sounds good. Oh, that looks nice though. Look at these big pieces of pork. It's wet, juicy, and half of it fell out. Oh, that's really nice. The pork, not much fat. It almost tastes like the lean part of a pork chop. It's the same meat you saw on the flat top earlier. That right here, grilled up, it's dense. Not really fatty, but that's why you gotta soup it up with some sauces. That sauce you said is chipotle sauce? Oh, it is tamarind sauce. I don't know if I'm a genius or I'm an idiot. I heard chipotle, it's not chipotle. It is tamarind sauce. Love it. The three is 35 pesos. This what it goes is 20 pesos. Not a bad deal. Here they have 10 different meats and a bunch of different sauces, so the flavor combinations are basically endless. It's all up to you and your imagination. From here, we're gonna get some more tacos. Let's go. We are now at location number three, Taqueria Gomez. I got a sneak peek already. What makes this place different from the ones we've seen so far is that they have a big boiling cauldron of meat and a lot of different meats put together. Let's go inside and see what they have. Hola. Hola. What do you have here? Dos puche. Puche. This is something I've kind of like to try. This is the pig stomach. Dos puche tacos, por favor. A fresh stack of tortillas. Pulls over some of this soupy broth, throws the tortillas down. From here, he's got to grab the meat. That is the puche right there. That is super soft. He puts the meat on top, a little bit of onion, some cilantro. That was the fastest taco making I've ever seen in my life. Gracias. Check it out, four tacos right here. Is this salt? That is in case you need more salt. Lime, salsa roja. This is guacamole and salsa verde mixed together. So that looks delicious. I'm gonna start with this. So this is called the enchilada. At least for me, when I think of an enchilada, I think of something that looks like this. Right, but this is called an enchilada taco. And look, here it is, it's beautiful. I like how everything's in that juicy broth. He pulls out some pork seasoned with local spices. That one goes on the flat top, boom. Oh my God, he's so fast. <laughs> I couldn't keep the camera in focus. He was moving faster than the shutter speed. He looked like he was moving backwards, like a, a car tire on the highway. It was amazing. Ugh, I can't resist a little bit of like green avocado and salsa mixed together. Hit it with a little bit of lime. What is a uh, pregunta? It sounds like pregnant, but it means question. I'm so pregnant with curiosity. I must ask you something. It's delicious. It's soft, it's juicy. The salsa verde on there is spicy. The onion and the cilantro, it's so crunchy. It adds just a little bit of bite. It gives it some freshness. Even the meat itself is kind of naturally spicy. It's their own local herbs and seasonings and pigs, I assume. I don't think they flew in the pigs. Here, Uche. pig stomach. Now, I know this has got to be the gamey experience of the day. Hit it with a little bit of limon. No sauces, no salsa. I want to taste that pure insides of that pig. I want to get a, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. this is, anyways, let's go for it. 
That's fantastic. It's kind of soft, it's fatty, it's rich. It has a little bit, of, a tiny bit of gamey flavor, but it's almost smoky. And it's so tender just from braising in that water forever. <laughs> So this is what I've not heard of before. I've heard of tripe, of course that's the beef, but they have a whole different categorization or classification for the pork. It is 640. I've been eating tacos for hours. I'm getting a little bit full, but I think we have to hit one more spot. Right now I'm with Hector. Hector, how you doing? Good, good. Here, they have the cure to the syndrome known as sobriety. Tequila and mezcal, which one do you like more? Me personally, I would prefer tequila. Do you have the rocks tequila? Yes. Wow, take a look at this place. This place has rows and rows of tequila bottles and mezcal too. See right here, my man, three-year-old tequila aged in a bourbon bed. I'm so glad he said more words after a three-year-old. I don't want to taste a three-year-old. <laughs> Smooth, excellente. It has alcohol. I don't really do alcohol reviews. As my dad used to say, it will get you drunk. Wonderful, my man. Thank you for the taste. Nice to meet you, my man. Now, some tacos. Time has passed. It's now nighttime. That is when tacos here come to life. We've come to one of my favorite destinations right behind me. This is called Mexican Taco. It says El Sabor en Mexico, which means the flavor of Mexico. What's fun about this place? A couple things. Their logo. It's a cactus, and instead of guns, he just has chilies. What's not to love about that? Can you imagine if they fought World War II with chilies? Chili cannon, chili turret, drop an A-bomb full of chilies. The second fun thing, it's called Mexican taco. So obviously it's just trying to appeal to people like me. Uh, pale, fat, drunk, confused about where to go. Right now we're in the kitchen and he's about to make my order right now. On the menu it's called melted cheese with beef ribs. Let's see how it's made. So right here we have our rib meat, far, far away. I'm stuck behind this counter, but that's all right. It's not gonna stop me from showing you delicious food images. Right here he's got maybe like a pound of cheese and then we have the flour tortillas hitting the deck. This is my favorite part, how he mushes it all together. It's almost becoming one consistent glob of goo. Now he puts the goo right there in that clay dish back over here. He's gonna fold each one of these. If you fold it more than 42 times, it will reach to the moon, but no one's ever done it before. Right here, you can see the ribs going onto the cheese. The cheese that was crusted onto the oven gets rolled up. Boom, that is a beautiful plateau of deliciousness. Right here, we have our last taco of the day. This right here, the cheese cigar. They don't call it that, but I do. Let's try this cheese. Yeah, satisfying, crispy, crumbly, cheesy, and it's delicious. If you take a look here, you can see the meat on the top, but then when I pull up, that is so much melted cheese, that is insane. From here, we have to make a taco. These are nice and hot. They fold them up so they don't lose the heat. Give it a spank. Throw on some cheese. Then you have your choice of two sauces, the salsa verde, the salsa roja. Both of them are so spicy. That's what makes me wonder, is this place built for Americans? Because these are so spicy, they don't care about your feelings. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of verde. That is a flour tortilla with some rib meat with a lot of cheese. Magnifico. Mmm, caliente. This place has the best sauce of any place I've been to in Playa del Carmen. Is it a salsa? Is it a sauce? It almost looks thick and yogurty. It tastes fresh. It tastes of cilantro. Clear taste of habanero. It's thick. I think there's avocado in there too. It's blended evenly. I love it. What is not to love about this? Cheese, grease, tortillas, salsa, meat. Is I just looked on the menu. This glob right here with all the meat and the tortillas, 130 pesos. That's like, I don't know, that's like one Bitcoin. I mean, I've lost six figures in investment. Sorry. So that is our final taco destination for today. Incredibly diverse and dynamic. Things to look for when you come to Playa del Carmen. Good deals. Now, yes, you can hang out on that Fifth Avenue and pay $11 for a mezcal shot, or you can go just a little bit out of that. Maybe a 10 minute walk, look around the neighborhood, see what they got, point to a meat that you have no idea what it is, get it on a taco. So that's it. My two favorite tacos from today were the pig stomach at our third location, and then this, because I love this. Hopefully they can ship it to me on Amazon when I go home. Those are tacos here in Playa del Carmen. You're gonna see a lot more flour tortillas here. We didn't even get into the seafood, but we'll save that for the next time. I'm trying to pay for my vacation by making second channel videos here in Playa del Carmen. Otherwise, guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Warm it up. A piece. The serious drinking is about to start. Good thing I have a nice foundation of tacos. Bye.